Good morning, Spartans. This is Mr. Russo, and I wanted to talk to you today about some various leadership opportunities that you will have for the upcoming school year. But before we get into the specifics, I wanted just to take a few minutes to step back and reflect upon the last 15 months, right? And in many ways, life is very different. Even life every day here at school looks different, right? Our lunches look different, our classrooms look different, but there are really some things that have never changed over the past year, right? We've still had tons of success on the athletic fields. We've been in person almost every single day. And today actually stands as kind of a testament to one other thing that we've kept doing, even though it's tough and even during this pandemic, right? Allowing you guys to be with each other, to form a brotherhood, and just to have fun with each other. And one of those things that we also haven't changed is the call to leadership. So today, I want you to take a few moments to really listen to what these upcoming students will tell you about all the various leadership opportunities, right? You guys, sophomores and juniors, are about to be the upperclassmen of Dismet Jesuit. We're handing you the keys to the school. You guys are the leaders of Dismet Jesuit, right? And the next year, Dismet Jesuit can be whatever you want it to be. It starts with your discerning the call to leadership. There's lots of different ways to be a leader. You could be a leader by being just a good teammate, and by always doing things the right way. You could be a leader by being a captain on that team. You could be a leader in small groups in your classroom. But today we're gonna to talk about leaders of various service and student groups in the school. Groups like Student Council, Campus Ministry, Compañeros, Ambassadors, the Black Student Union, the Student Diversity Council. All those places and all those groups are really important for our school and they only succeed with student help. Basically, we need you guys. Dismet Jesuit needs you guys. Okay, so try to pay attention. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, at the end, I'll pop on real quick and just kind of explain the application process for you. Okay, so here are some students talking about the various leadership opportunities and leadership groups within the school. Have a great day. This time last year, um, when I was in the application process for getting into different homerooms like you guys are now, um, there was a ton of different great choices that I could have gone with, uh, such as admissions and campus ministry. But I ended up going with Stuco because Stuco, it just sounded like a lot of fun um, and a great opportunity to be a leader. And honestly, going in, I, I knew probably two kids that were in the homeroom with me, and that's just because they were in my grade. Um, but it really gave me a great opportunity to meet some awesome, some awesome guys, uh, seniors and sophomores, who I probably would have never got to know had it not been for Stuco. Um, so that's just, a, it was a lot of fun getting to know these guys, bonding with them. Um, and then also Stuco's just been a great opportunity for me to be a leader in the school and to actually make change in the school. And that has really been beneficial for me um, because looking back, uh, I'll know that I'll, I'll have made a, a change at the SMET. Uh, and it, it also really helps help de develop my leadership skills, uh, which will definitely help me later in life, um, looking for a job, stuff like that. So I, I strongly suggest you guys um, consider joining Stuco. It is a ton of fun. Um, you get to meet some awesome guys, and it's just a great opportunity to be a leader and develop your leadership skills. Kind of what we do as ambassadors is get to know the kids who are coming to look at this mat and kind of show them what it's like to be a Spartan. Uh, some of the stuff that we do is talk to the parents and answer some questions that they might have, uh, give tours, help at open houses, and help at other events. And the goal is kind of just to make them feel welcomed and comfortable and show them like what this meant's about. All right, thank you. Ian, what is your favorite part about being an ambassador? Um, my favorite part about being an ambassador is the just getting to know new guys coming in and the bond that um, is created between the juniors and seniors within the admissions homeroom and the special special days like knockout tournaments and top golf visits over the summer.
All right. Um, do you guys have, why do you think younger Spartans should get involved with ambassadors? Uh, I think younger uh, Spartans should get involved because I think it's pretty easy to. Uh, it's a lot of fun and you get to show uh, incoming freshmen how great this met is. So you're kind of like shaping the classes coming in. Hey guys, uh, I think that there are a lot of good reasons to be a compañero, um, but I think my favorite thing about it uh, was seeing my homeroom get more used to each other, get more used to high school, and you know become friends with each other and just grow as young guys. Um, they might not let you know, but they really do appreciate the work that you do. So uh, thanks for considering this. So basically, as a junior compañero, what your responsibility is is you're going to plan activities for the freshmen to do throughout the year at their homeroom and um, usually about once a week you'll go up to the homerooms and help carry out the activities with the seniors and it's a really good opportunity to not only get senior interaction but also freshman interaction and it's a really good opportunity to learn how to develop your leadership experience at the smet jesus is calling 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 I would say campus ministry, it's a lot more than just planning masses and retreats. That is something we do. We have lunch meetings to plan masses, which is really awesome. You get to collaborate with the teachers. Um, calling, calling Being in campus ministry has just helped my faith grow um, and become closer to the guys at the SMAT. So that's Jesus is calling, calling. see people in campus ministry, whether it's before school, during activity period, which we unfortunately couldn't have this year or after school, it's just a community where you'll see all grade levels coming together. Jesus is calling, calling, calling night. Other than the friendships I've made uh, through campus ministry, freshman year, obviously we could come in here during activity period and I met a lot of my best friends uh, through campus ministry. He's calling for you, so don't turn away. Building your faith around a community, which I think the Smith values a lot and the students who are in campus ministry value. Jesus is calling, calling, calling night and day. I'm very fortunate for the opportunity to spearhead the launch of the Student Diversity Council. Now, the goal of the council is to make sure that all voices are heard and all perspectives are represented. We will improve communication among students and between faculty and students on any topic having to do with diversity, equity, and inclusion. We are open to everyone that wants to improve the larger DeSmet community and who is willing to share their views. Thank you very much. Being co-president of the Black Student Union gives me and my fellow uh, students and friends the opportunity to share our voices of what it's like to be black and going to this met a predominantly white school. It also gives us a platform to you know, spread awareness and um, promote diversity and inclusion while at the same time having difficult conversations with students who aren't black or who aren't of color and don't face discrimination and oppression. And it's very important to have these conversations because it allows us to grow and ultimately be a better this met. Some benefits of being black student union is that you have that platform. And for me taking a leadership role, it makes my voice heard and I get to spread my voice as well as those of black students throughout the school um, to teachers, to faculty, to students, to parents. The possibilities are endless and with black student union, I'm able to have my voice heard. Okay guys, so by now you should have a little bit better idea of the various groups and the leadership positions that are open. By the end of the day, you will be emailed this application. It's a Microsoft Office form. The email will come from me. And there's a couple of key points. I know you can read the descriptions and the directions. The applications are due next Friday. So we have one week to complete this application. It shouldn't take you that long, but you might want to take a few days to think about which opportunities you'd like to apply for. Maybe you have some follow-up questions you want to ask a certain teacher, and all of that is fine. I will send you a couple reminder emails throughout the week. Most of this application should be pretty self-explanatory, but I do just want to highlight a couple of questions. Numbers nine and 10. These questions are gonna ask you to reflect upon why you'd like to be involved in leadership, how you think you can lead and what gifts you can bring to this met, what your hopes are for the next school year. 
Resist the temptation to answer in just one sentence or two sentence answers if possible. We'd really like this to be an opportunity for you to begin the leadership process. What gifts do you have? What are your hopes? What would you like to accomplish as a student, as a leader, as a class, as a school? The last few questions are also important as they will help us to determine when we could perhaps have a follow-up conversation with you. Everybody who applies will be able to have an interview or at least a conversation in some way, shape, or form with the teacher in charge of that group. And this is a great opportunity for you to get to know the role a little bit better, for you to share some ideas about what you think Dismet Jesuit can be, and for you just to ask any questions you might have, okay? So that's a pretty simple application. Like I said, the due date is next Friday. And uh, let me know if you have any questions, okay? Uh, I'm excited for you guys to begin your day. I think it's going to be a great day. Last week was a whole bunch of fun, and I think the guys really enjoyed it. So uh, without too much further ado, we'll end this video. And just please pay attention to the PA and to your group leaders as far as further directions. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.